subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Sonu Sood, it's good to see you. How are you, Sonu? How are you doing? I'm good, Rajiv. You know, and uh, with all your wishes, uh, uh, still on. Lovely. You know, Sonu, I think I speak for every Indian when I say thank you. Thank you for the incredible work that you've been doing for the past four months. Um, of course, you know, primarily you've been helping send back migrants and workers uh, to their homes during these times of COVID. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to provide financial support. But what you've been doing is incredible. You've been actually going there and you know, you've been working from the ground. Um, you've been making sure you've been, uh, you know, organizing buses, trains, planes, sending people back to their homes, organizing meals for those on their journey. Uh, I know that in many cases, you've been providing shelter for them. What you've really done is created a nationwide network to help people in these very difficult times, haven't you, sir? <clears throat> it happened, Rajiv. You know, I, I was not trained. I was not equipped. To do it and uh, you know I, I like you like me everyone experienced this uh, pandemic for the first time you know we had read in this history books that you know if, if a pandemic happens this happens and you have seen movies but when actually it uh, hit all of us we realized that we didn't have anything to do we are stuck in our homes nothing to do sometimes we cook sometimes we exercise sometimes we talk uh, to people but we can't do anything. Um, you know, I, I started with a food drive where we uh, started with 570 people. And in no time, uh, when you know everyone knows that you are there to help them, to provide food, and it grew to 48,000 people every single day. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, this is a very close friend of mine. Her name is Niti Goel. Uh, she's a childhood friend from Punjab, and we both were distributing food. You know, I also have restaurants, and she also has a, a restaurant. So we were getting food done and distributing food and all. And then, uh, you know, at, on one day, you know, when we were distributing food at this place in um, Thana, a place called Kalwa Chong, a lot of migrants were just walking and, you know, we, we, we had a truckload of fruits and all. They said, you know, can you pack us for 10, 15 days? And uh, I said, you know, no, uh, not by 10, 15 days, you know, just give me a day or two and I'll set some permissions, right? And that's the first step when it started. And when it became the whole moment, I never realized. And when the whole country was after you to send them back to your home. So I think it was just a, a blessing, I would say, that God chose me as a catalyst to do this. So no, I read that you've been instrumental in sending over one lakh migrants and workers back to their homes from mm -hmm. and to various parts of the country. Um, I yeah. know that you've worked with state governments to obtain the permissions. I know that you work with state governments to, uh, uh, to follow each individual state's lockdown guidelines. I know that along the way that, like you said, you know, you found, you found friends and you found allies who have, who have, you know, who have helped financially, who have come on board with resources. You have thanked, um, you know, you've thanked the state governments. You have thanked, uh, you know, individual people in districts. You have thanked local police. Uh, is it, is it fair to say, Sonu, has your experience taught you that kindness begets kindness? That when someone sees another person doing, uh, you know, when someone sees you doing what you've been doing, that, that, that people have sort of joined along with that because now people know that, that, that one can help. I mean, is it, is it fair to say that? Of course, you know, I, I feel when um, every one of us, uh, we, we were all disturbed seeing those visuals of millions of migrants walking on the roads, you know, dying uh, in all those accidents that happen everywhere. And then uh, everyone wanted to do something. But when you have uh, the lockdowns, you can't get out of your building, you know, forget getting on the roads. So then they feel helpless and they say, I don't know what to do. But when they see someone um, going out of the way, trying to put things together, trying to send them back to the home, so then you know, people join and uh, I remember I used to get calls from uh, Delhi that, you know, their two sisters, when they saw you sending back, people back to the home, they, they had sent one bus to Bihar. So, and they thanked me in a video message. So I feel it's just uh, that one first step, which uh, uh, starts that, that ripple effect and everyone yeah. joins. So this is how, uh, you know, everyone uh, came on board and 
you know my chartered accountants my friends whoever could do anything they said you know we are on for this let us know what we want to do i read that you also um you also track down the families of those workers those migrants who lost their lives on the journeys on these journeys yeah. back home those of them that didn't make it you track their families in their villages and 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 you sent money into their bank accounts i i'm i'm still in the process of sending money it's it's such a such a huge task when i you know uh, when i of helping these families you know i i spoke to all the authorities in different states yeah, they were they were tracking their numbers their bank accounts uh, the survivors uh, okay ram ram lakhan got killed uh, 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 you know ghar mein bachi kaun hai unki patni rajni uska ye uh, mobile number when you call rajni Uh, she is uneducated. She uh, doesn't want to believe anyone. She cries on the phone and she said, "Ki main ham apko number denge apna bank ka to ap koi paisa nikal lega fraud ho jayega ham kaise karenge?" So they are not ready to believe. You know, who, it's such a huge task. I I got almost 398 uh, uh, people who died who uh, got injured the in the whole uh, movement. But out of them, you know, it's so tough to convince them. You know, we used to catch hold of a. Uh, uh, pradhan in the village okay pradhan sahab aap aapki aap, you know jila hai aur yeah there are 21 people who died can you get all 21 uh, uh, people from the different families you know and so that i can have a video conference video call so okay i'm there to help you and i'm going to deposit money in your accounts so that you can survive so then they feel relieved oh okay sonu is there we'll do it and all and still there, there are still many more families who are still not ready to give share the bank account details though we have the details but this something will happen we feel feel for them raji that we will are yaar these poor people these poor families you know we want to help them and still if they are not able to uh, make the money money is reach to them we will be helpless and so my guys will be going to these villages uh, personally and uh, deposit money in their accounts meeting those families in person so that's the next drive which uh, we are on with so look, this whole network of people you know like you said my guys will be going to these villages these volunteers if you like i mean was this a network that you already had or or is this something that that you know you discovered these people and you entrusted these people along the way i mean you know how is the where did, where did this network really form you know um uh, when 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 the whole thing started i i i remember you know there's a uh, me and niti uh, we both used to discuss how to send these people and there's a chartered accountant uh, uh, my chartered accountant his name is pankaj so i said pankaj yaar ye list banana aaj up ke itne log jane wale hain just make the list of gorakhpur uh, lucknow pratapgarh and gonda so you're making the list he said sir uh, i've got another five six of us i'll join them also then 12 people of my uh, chartered accountant Uh, team got joined. Then uh, there's a guy called KK came. Then there's a lot of people. They, the branches started spreading like you know it. It became such a huge thing that people. I mean, someone is living in Assam. He said, you know, I I want to do something good. You know, I want to join your family. You know, how we can help. So they, he was uh, an expert in. Uh, I V R. Someone is an expert in the computer thing. Someone is expert in making Excel sheets. So we joined all of them. So we had this uh, group of Ghar Bejo leads, Ghar Bejo volunteers, migrant Assams, migrant Odisha. All these people. I still have all single number, uh, okay. their numbers in my accounts. And how, we were twenty four seven. We are on, um, you know, on some Zoom calls, or getting connected on each other. We could hardly sleep. You know, in the, in the sleep also sometimes three a.m. three a.m. in the morning, we'll call KK boss. Just send me the Gonda list tomorrow morning. The six o'clock, six a.m. The bus is going. I have to get the uh, permission sorted. So this is how it happened, and that's why you know we were able to do it. It was unbelievable. If you see uh, my house, you know there are. Loads and loads of numbers of people, uh, what they need, where they are, and imagine you know in in a lockdown where everything is uh, a person living in Nala Supara, Vasai, Palgar, these areas, people. Uh, if you are from Bombay, you know that. But yeah. for other people, you know, they are they are such different difficult zones. People can't come out of it. People say, "Dear, you are coming back to where we are from. We are leaving." So then we go used to go in our cars, used to go in different tempo travelers, take them. You should get best buses and get them to the location from where they are going. So it was a task, but in in the process, everyone realized, okay, uh, Sonu is doing good. He is trying to help people. So a lot of authorities, yeah. police uh, professionals, bureaucrats, ICE officers, they all said, "Arey Sonu, aap karo nee nee pakka yaar, jao please kar kya." So this is how the whole uh, movement became strong, and we were able to deliver uh, what we wanted. Now, Sonu, you can do all of this, and you're doing it yourself. You, you know, we've seen videos, we've seen images of you actually out there, um, seeing off the buses, seeing off the trains. You can do this if you're healthy. 
how are you managing to stay healthy? Because of course you're very vulnerable if you're if you're out in the open. I mean, that's one of the big concerns. Um, was that a concern of the family? Was is that a concern? How are you managing to stay healthy yourself so that you can you can mobilize all this? Uh, you know, that was one big challenge. You know, and all my uh, my family always used to get worried that you're out 16, 17 hours. You're living in Vasai. You're uh, in Palghar, you know, and how are you going to survive this? If if you fall sick, the whole moment will, uh, you know, um, fall, and you lots of people will get your promise. How are you going to manage that? You know, I, in in my building, there's another flat on the sixth floor. I live on the fourth floor, so I used to mm-hmm. say a lot, uh, spend a lot of time on the fourth floor, also uh, away from my family. You know, for two to three three days, I used to, couldn't see my kids, my children. You know, I, they used to say, "Dad, you're there," but you know, I said, "No, no just stay." You know, let me. I'm too exposed. I was, I used to take really good care, but still, at the back of my mind, I was scared uh, for my family. But uh, I knew that you know, if 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 this amount of risk I take uh, okay. and go out and help these people, uh, I know that you know, lots of uh, lives will be saved. So I thought, you know, I have to take that risk and I have to go out. So that's uh, the chance I took. You know, now Sono, you've embarked on something that is very revolutionary. Um, you have set up the Pravasi Rozgar Initiative. Now, this is incredible because this is going to connect the migrants and the workers who've returned home with job opportunities. Um, what you're doing is making sure that because they've gone back home, um, that, that, that there, is, there is ways for them to earn an income and for those that want to come back that there are opportunities. Not only that, you're also creating, um, you're creating opportunities for them to acquire skills, which will help them qualify for those jobs, aren't you? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, Rajiv, how it started, I remember when every day I used to go and uh, see of the migrants, I used to ask only one question. Ki, uh, will you come back? And everyone used to say, we will come back, to we will come back, we will do something. And I used to uh, feel that, you know, they are clueless when they'll go back to the villages with their parents, with their families, how are they going to earn, whether the lockdown will end, whether they'll be able to do something or not. So I thought, you know, I have to put things together and start something which will connect all of them. You know, I had almost seven and a half lakh um, people who approached me to uh, go back to their homes. I had their numbers, I had their details. So I have the data of those people and they are connected to every migrant, every labor is connected to another four or five. You imagine 30, 40, 50 lakh people you are connected to. So I said, you know, how to get it. I, I got in touch with the intra guys. I got in touch with um, different uh, companies, uh, corporates that, you know, I'm trying, planning to do this. And everyone knew uh, that the, the kind of work I was doing, I was trying to help migrants and also everyone was very happy. said, you know, we love to be associated. Please tell us, you know, we love to give them jobs. We love to uh, employ the people that you uh, recommend. And uh, again, you know, a lot of people who uh, uh, imagine a carpenter who is uh, a little unskilled and there's a very skilled carpenter, how are you going to differentiate uh, between these two? So we are going to train them. So I got in touch with uh, those institutes, which will train them to become uh, better in their jobs. Um, uh, tomorrow, if we are having some work in a house, they'll go to this one uh, chalk and we'll get 10, 15 people. Okay, this is a calm, you know, do all these things. So that's what's happening across the country. And, you know, they don't have any... Um, social security numbers, they don't have any kind of insurances, they don't have any kind of medical education, any kind of facilities. So I'm trying to put all these people under one platform. Okay, if someone is registered under a Pravasi um, Rosegar, so he'll have a, a, some kind of insurance, some kind of an education benefit. Tomorrow, if he falls sick, we'll provide him uh, something with medical things. Tomorrow, he wants to go to, uh, from uh, Uttar Pradesh, to, he wants to go to Uttarakhand. So he doesn't know how to go. It. We'll make sure how he travels how he stays there, what kind of food he gets. So all things, uh, we have been working from past two and a half months, you know, our team of people being an engineer, somehow uh, those um, uh, formulas came automatically in mind. And now we are almost ready uh, to launch. And you will see in, uh, in a week or so, it will be a revolution that the whole country will see. Now, from what I, from what I hear, the Pravasi Rosegar website is already up. And apparently, yes. you did a trial test. You did a test run. And, and, yes. and the minute you did that, you got thousands of applications already. Yes. Right. You know, all, almost uh, uh, forty to 50,000, we just got in a trial. We haven't officially announced it. But uh, when, when you do this trial test, you need to make sure, you know, these are the people who try once. Uh, a, a, a person who doesn't have a smartphone, uh, a migrant living in Jharkhand or something, how he's going to connect. So it's so simple that when once uh, it, it'll be ready uh, in another four days, uh, fully functional the way we want it, you just touch the phone and we'll get a missed call and I'm going to call, okay, hi, who's this? Okay, I'm Sonu here. Kya kaam karna aata hai aapko? 
मुझे ये कीला मारना आता है चलो आपको क्या सिखाएं कैसे करें विल गेट द थिंग एंड विल मेक श्योर दैट वी गेट दम जॉब्स सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी सो सो सिंपल दैट पर्सन नेवर टच द फोन इज इन इज लाइफ विल गेट कनेक्टेड विद हिम ऑल्सो so this is really an end to end solution isn't it i mean you're you're looking at from the point that they 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 dial in or they log in to 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 look for a uh, possible uh, opportunities job opportunities to the point where they they if it needs to be transported there if they need to have acquire the skills along the way up to the point that they actually uh, get that job everything you know everything like a say a person who hasn't uh, even been out of his village in jharkhand in the interior part of uh, the country you can say we'll make sure when one sees on pravasi rozgar he'll be in in a month months time he'll be a changed man he'll be uh, he'll have his identity he will uh, uh, be a part of a project that he wants to gain we'll have multiple uh, options okay aapko jharkhand mein kaam karna hai aapko uttarakhand jana hai aapko mumbai aana hai so anyone who wants to be there we'll we'll map them we'll we'll connect those things uh, dots and we'll make sure that uh, a, a right person who needs a job like to, to we uh, you know we'll be facing problem with lot of infra guys or lot of other companies or maybe a hotel guy or someone who wants a receptionist anything so they they need people how are they going to get those people and all but when they have a single platform they'll click the, uh, and you know everything will be mapped and uh, they'll get a the right person so that's the idea to put it very simple and uh, just connect these dots you know so no i have to ask the cynical question and i'm sure that you've heard this um you've heard this question as well is you know is sonu sood um hoping to to join politics is this the first step towards uh, joining politics i i want to ask you if you are offered a ticket by by a party um is this i mean do you feel like politics could be the way to continue this work and to um you know is that the ambition um you know I, i've been offered um, see from past 10 years you know from punjab all the parties everyone knows about it but i was not very keen i believe that as an actor i have still miles to go do lot of things in my life and i thoroughly enjoy um, uh, you know being in front of the camera and uh, i could do all this because i was not uh, connected with any political party if i was then uh, you know the lot of protocols uh, Uh, would have been uh, in picture you know and um, i had to ask for permissions and all but when i'm alone i can do anything that i want right wrong but i'm on the move and uh, i'll follow my instincts and i'll do it i don't know tomorrow but still you know as a, like i said as an actor still the journey um, is left maybe in years to come who knows what's written in my destiny but i can promise you one thing uh, whichever field as an actor or as a politician or whatever i do in my life i'll make sure that you know this the uh the job that i'm doing right now will continue uh, no matter what field i am in like i said you know when i sent all the people migrants back home there's a new request of people from kyrgyzstan came you know i've never been to kyrgyzstan i don't know any rules and of there are 4000 students who are stuck in kyrgyzstan they want me to get back I, and i said you know kyrgyzstan okay let me go through it and it did my homework and now um uh, in another 4 to 5 days you will see those all those 4000 people back in our country yeah how oh, wonderful You know, so when you came to Mumbai, the, when you first came to Mumbai, roughly twenty years ago, to become an actor from Moga in Punjab, of course, you were coming from a very well-off family. Um, you know, you had also done your BE in electronics, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, I remember you telling me. I remember you telling me in a previous interview that that your father told you, "I don't want you to struggle like like most people do when they come to Mumbai to become an actor. Uh, buy a flat. Here's the money. Buy a flat. And and okay, if you want to be an actor, I mean, but have a flat. Have a roof over your head." Yeah. You didn't. You didn't do that, did you? No, I didn't. I I remember when my dad told me that you are the only son we have, uh, and you, you have such a big house in Punjab. You have all the business. Why do you want to struggle? So I thought, you know, the, those the lessons that I couldn't learn in my engineering college. These are the the lessons I need to learn through the grind that uh, I've heard a lot about that happens in Mumbai. So let me go through that. You know, maybe give me six, eight months, one year, and if if I need, I'll definitely let you know. But Rajiv, those one those. Well, months that I spent in uh, Mumbai, you know, staying as a paying guest in different places, staying with sharing room with six, seven, eight, ten people. I remember those twelve months taught me the lessons of my life. You know, I, it it made me. And uh, uh, when I actually bought the flat, my dad came and I uh, once I went and showed it to him that this is the place I used to stay. And he said, "Are you serious that you want you really stayed here for how many days?" I said, "No, almost one year." And he was. Um, I mean, he said, "You." Uh, why why you want to stay here why why you didn't let me help you but i thought you know uh, if i would have let him buy a place you know 
I wouldn't have been sitting in front of you. I've seen those difficult times of my life, uh, struggling as an actor. And uh, I think that's what uh, I want to tell everyone also, all the parents, no matter how big, rich you are, but let the kids struggle and let them uh, face that grind. That, I think that will make them the real uh, person that they want. They should be. I notice your, your wife and your children are also working with you uh, in this whole initiative, aren't they? Um, my wife and children are also uh, involved. You know, they, I get loads of letters. You know, uh, uh, I think almost 400, 500 letters every single day. I get it, and they tell my kids, "Okay, just go through those letters. Just find the genuine ones." Okay, someone needs a medical help. Someone needs an admission in the college. Someone needs to fill a fee. Some, all these, just shortlist those letters. So my kids uh, get involved with those. My wife, I, I tell her, "Sonali, just make the list of uh, you know these Gorakhpur people. Make, make the list of uh, Madhubani people, and also she make it. She's also part of." the um, uh, volunteers team. So she's also, she's also very active with that. It, it has to be there, you know, otherwise if uh, you are the only one who's participating in everything and you know, my family will feel lost. Right. And, uh, and when they are part of the thing, they, they won't uh, feel that, okay, you know, he's not giving time to us. I remember right. sometimes 1.30, 2 o'clock, I used to come in the night. From 2.30 to 6.30, I, was, I used to be on Twitter to un answering people, okay, who are the DD ones who are going tomorrow? And morning 7 o'clock, we in the calls used to them. So 2, two three, 3 nights, days, we could, didn't sleep, we were on the roads. And I think this is how uh, we were able to pull this off. You know, of course, you are, a, you are a national hero, but also I see that, you know, a lot of people are, are uh, sort of on, on Twitter. I noticed that there's a lot of humor going on as well, right? I mean, there, there's the, 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 there is a young girl who says, Sonu Bhaiya, mujhe, uh, mujhe salon, mujhe, uh, you know, get yeah. me to the beauty parlor. Uh, and I think you said that, uh, aapne, aapne to wo sab, all, the, all the ladies who work at the parlor, you've already sent them back home. So there's a lot of <laughs> no joke going on on, on, on yeah. social media since then, hasn't there? Yeah, of course, you know, I think that the humor keeps you intact. You know, I remember there's a guy who wanted uh, to go to a liquor shop and he said, Ki, sir, mujhe pe chhod doge. And I said, you know, I will chhod doge once you are uh, done with your uh, work. So I think all these things are Recently, uh, I got a uh, request which was on a serious note and he, uh, this girl said, you know, um, uh, Sonu said, my dad is a huge fan, a huge Sonu Sud fan. And uh, I, I, I'm in love with this boy. And if you just speak to him once, I can get married to my, the boy that I wish to, and uh, I said, you know, who if if, if tomorrow he uh, he starts scolding me that who to uh, get into our family matter. So what? He said, no, no, sir, you please, you please, you please, you please, you please, and I didn't have the guts to tell them, okay, you please, 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 you know, so no, Mary Betty ne bataya ki usne aapko request kiya, aapne uske liye mujhe phone kiya. Maka, no, no, sir, mene uske liye I just wanted to say hello to you. So, <laughs> I think all these things also happen, but yeah, it's a part of life, but I'm sure, you know, uh, something uh, um, good is happening in life. Right. So, do you feel like this, this whole initiative and all the, all the incredible work that you've done here and all the love that it has triggered, do you think this will change in any way um, have an impact on your film career? You know, we've seen, of course, you know, we've seen the brands, of course, want to associate with you. I mean, Pepsi came up and, and, and want to do that campaign with you. But do you feel like it will have any sort of impact on the on the acting, on the films that come your way? Um, I never thought, uh, Rajiv, but a lot of offers have come in. There are different roles that have been offered. There are different, um, um, this, is, this is a different approach, I would say. Um, initially, also, it was very nice. They were very sweet and all. But I think the whole uh, changes, you know, the, the, the way the, the whole narration happens or the way um, the kind of roles that uh, you've been offered. So I think uh, a perception has changed, but like you know, you're part of the industry, you know, it's it's a tough nut to crack. It's not going to be an easy um, uh, thing that, you know, okay, uh, people, they are, uh, uh, you know, but, you know, film line is different, uh, cinema is different, and, uh, uh, you know, but but I don't care, uh, Rajiv. You know my uh, my intentions are um, that you know I have to keep on doing. Job. You can't plan the life. You can't uh, uh, you know uh, say that you know tomorrow this thing happen. You just have to do your job. You have to start the day the, the way you want to do it, and the rest leave leave up to God. Yeah. You know, I don't think that the audience is going to be okay with seeing you getting beaten up by the hero anymore. That I think might be something that will that will need to change. You know, of course, you know, I remember there's a 
there's a meme that was um, uh, going viral and uh, someone said ki agar hamare bhai ko kisi hero ne haath lagaya to bhawani kasam hum theater mein aag laga denge so i said that was very cute correct <laughs> uh, but but like i said yeah the, the, the emotions that people have for me i'll i'll definitely respect that and i'll make sure that you know i'll um try to do a uh, role uh, which will make them happy which will uh, bring the smile on their faces so i'm sure you know someone somewhere will be writing something uh, special for me which i want to do it yes finally sonu it's your birthday next week isn't it on the 30th of july it's your birthday what is the big birthday wish no i i, I don't know you know like i said uh, rajiv now my main uh, my main aim i would say is i I've, i've gone um, Pull into it for the Pravasi Rose Guard, like I said, you yeah. know, on 30th July when uh, it happens. My aim is to at least get almost 50 lakhs to one crore people on uh, connected on Pravasi Rose Guard. Um, I've already been talking to endlessly to people uh, to get them jobs. 24/7, I've been in touch with people. Um, uh, I hopefully uh, in thousands uh, people will get jobs also uh, by 30th July, and I think that will be my biggest um, gift. to myself or i would say a uh, blessing from god that you know okay you started this platform pravasi rozgar where the whole country is going to get connected the whole uh, employees employers everyone is going to get connected and going to upskill upskill their uh, talent whatever they have so i think this is uh, like a dream for me and i can't think there can be a better birthday gift than pravasi rozgar today Well, thank you, Sonu. Thank you for thank you. In, I mean, I, I think again, I speak for every Indian. Really, thank you for the incredible work you're doing. I think that what you've shown is, you know, um, very often we say, "Ek aadmi kya kar sakta hai?" What what difference can one man make? I think you've shown what difference one man can make. You've shown that <laughs> kindness inspires kindness. You've shown that kindness inspires, uh, you know, people to you. You've mobilized, uh, you know, you've mobilized thousands of people over this country, uh, across this country, to 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 really help you along the way. Thank you, Sonu. thank you and more power uh, you know this is a great initiative that you're uh, that you're setting up and you know and and here's hoping that that it that it's successful um, and and more power to to continue helping the people as you have thank you so much sonu thank, thank you. you so much rajiv and it's always a pleasure talking to you thank you so much my brother My god bless you thank, thank you thank you, thank you.